Welcome back. When you graph the linear inequalities on graph paper by hand, finish that video up, I promised that I would show you how to use the graphing calculator to do this. So let's use our same examples from the graphing linear inequalities and we'll go ahead and graph those on our graphing calculator. Because they're inequalities, first thing we're want, going to want to do is run the inequalities application on our calculator. Okay. As you can see here, um, in the graphing mode, everything is y equals, and we would like to have inequalities. And I find it easier just to run the inequalities application. So if we go under applications, and inequalities begins with an i, so I'm going to use my alpha key, alpha i, and there's the inequalities app. I'm going to go ahead and run inequals. So get the inequalities app going. And sure enough, it gives me still everything is y equals, but below at the bottom of the screen here, I have my less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. And each one of those corresponds to the five keys at the bottom of the screen. So um, if I want to change the inequality symbol, I can simply use the alpha key. And if I want less than or equal to, I go alpha zoom and it changes the inequality symbol. Okay, so I'll change that back to equal sign. So we want to graph y is greater than one third x minus four. So I want to change my equal sign to a greater than symbol. So that's going to be the trace key. So alpha f4, it even shows you over here on the left hand side how it's going to shade. It shows the, dot, the dashed line and the shading above the line. So we've got everything in slope intercept form. So we can simply type in our equation. Y is greater than one third X, one divided by three in parentheses. X, the X key is right next to the alpha key. X minus four. And then I want to make sure this is in a place where I can see it. And I know that the Y intercept is negative four. So the calculator gives us a standard window, zoom. And so I'll hit the zoom key and standard, zoom six, and voila, there's my graph of y is greater than one third x minus four with my dashed line and my shading above. In our second sample problem, well, that one was in standard form. So we need to rewrite our inequality into slope intercept form in order to graph it. So I went ahead and subtracted three x I divide it by four and I get y is less than or equal to negative three fourths x plus three. So um, I'm not, I don't want to graph my first inequality. I'm just going to hit enter and kind of deselect that one and we'll go to y2. So I want y is less than or equal to negative three fourths x plus three. So less than or equal to alpha, the zoom key, and negative three-fourths, I'm going to use the negative symbol, the one in parentheses, negative three-fourths, and I'll go ahead and use the decimal here, 0.75x plus three. And I'm in, going to be, again, I'm going to be in my standard window because my y-intercept is three, um, so I can go to zoom standard again, or I can just hit graph, and that will graph my line and it will also give my shading for me. Let's take a look at um, sample problem three. Let's go ahead and graph those. This is a little more complex and we're going to graph, not only are we going to graph two, x minus y is greater than or equal to four and y is greater than negative two. Let's graph a third one. Let's graph x is greater than or equal to four. So. I'll go ahead and deselect that one, the one we just did, and we will cursor down and we'll go to y3. Um, uh, x minus y is greater than or equal to four. I need to put that in slope intercept form. So I subtract x from both sides. I divide by negative one and I get y is less than or equal to, because I changed the direction of my inequality sign. Y is less than or equal to x minus four. So less than or equal to Wow, again, it's that zoom key, F3, Y is less than or equal to 
x minus 4. And I want to graph all three of these at the same time. So, well, there's the first one. It automatically showed up for me. Um, y is greater than negative 2. So I'll change my symbol. Second trace, greater than. Now negative, don't use the minus key. Use the negative key. Negative 2. So we've graphed. We've got that one set to go. And then finally, our third inequality, x is greater than or equal to 4. There's my y is greater than negative 2. Hmm, x is greater than or equal to 4. Well, there's a problem here. We've got all y's and we need x. So if you look in the upper left-hand corner, we've got the symbol, the x equal to. So I'm going to cursor up to x equal to. Make sure your plots are off. I should have told you that earlier. Hit enter, and look at that. It gives me all x's here. And then I still am running my inequalities program, so x is greater than or equal to 4. So I'm going to do alpha greater than or equal to. And we want to graph greater than or equal to 4. And we select graph. And there is our first inequality, our second, and our third inequality. So we've got a big mess of graph here. We've got a lot of different things going on. Okay? All this cross-hatching and this kind of business. So how can we clean this up a little bit? Well, you may have noticed these commands at the bottom of the, the screen. Shades, POI stands for point of intersection, and trace, and this is if you have any questions. So shades. And we're going to change our shading a little bit. So once again, we can use our alpha, our green keys, and I don't think it matters if you use F1 or F2. So we'll Google Alpha F2, and it gives us some options for shading. Do we want to do the original shading? Do we want to do union? Do we want to in do intersection? Well, based on this question, this is an intersection. We want to find where all three of those lines overlap. So if we select intersection 1, it will graph the first inequality, the second one, but it only features the intersection. So now when we graph all three of our lines, and here's our x is greater than 4, you'll notice that this little spot here, this little triangle, was taken out because we want all the x's that are greater than 4. And so this shaded region is the only region that satisfies all three of those inequalities. So there's a quick lesson on how to use the Inequalities app and graph inequalities using your graphing calculator.